Good morning, non-existent followers. I'm Sam, and today I am followed by nobody because Kitsune is busy. So we're going to do another Mass Effect podcast. I'm going to try to be as thorough since I'm by myself. I want to talk about the videos that have been going around recently about the new character creator previews. From what I can tell, uh, they're really solid. I only want to address a few of my concerns and my joy for the new character creator. If you haven't seen any video, I recommend watching this video that I'm going to link down in the box and link in this video. Pause my video and then come back once you're done watching so that you uh, have an understanding of what's happening because I have no footage because I'm not pressed like that. If you pause, and I'm back now, let's talk about some of the things I like and dislike about the new character creator. The first part of the character creator, when you pick your facial and skin color, it's all pretty much the same, except for one thing that is bothering me about the new character creator is once you click your skin tone, that's all you can do. There's no complexion level as there was in Inquisition which I really like because I tend to do a lot more dark skinned characters and when you pick your dark skin um, tone, the complexion helped you get a darker tone through the complexion on the face. In this one, we have no complexion level, so I'm stuck with whatever complexion the tone will give me, which doesn't give me much of a range. Um, I feel like that's sort of diverting backwards than forwards because that was very nice. It gave you freckles, it could give you scars, it could give you wrinkles. I get why they might not have done it because Ryder is younger so their complexion is going to be more youthful than if you were say playing the um, Inquisitor who age was kind of left ambiguous and you also have more characters beyond human choices, so I kind of get it, but uh, I still not as fond. Uh, other than that, uh, you go down and the hairstyles, they're different for both male and female writer. That's a little strange because there's not many sharing choices for both male and female as there was in Inquisition. I feel like it's also diverting back, but I get why they wouldn't because you're making both a female and male character no matter who you play in your um, campaign so you don't want to give them the same exact face same exact hair same exact makeup you just have a clone they are twins but they don't have to look exactly the same and it would prefer that you don't make them exactly the same because their personalities are not exactly the same so I get that um, I do think that there should have been more choices for male in the long hair sense and for female in the short hair sense, so just opposite. That's why sharing would have been nice. But, um, what I do like, the number one thing I like, is the tattoo and makeup options. They are quite different and from what I feel, makes more sense as a young person in the future. Ryder is younger, um, hasn't been doing, doesn't exactly do military things. Um, so you can be more free to have options and creativity, so the makeup options are really stellar and so are the um, hair colors beyond natural and the tattoos are really vivid. I really like them. I'm very excited to have tattoos shared between both of my writers as sort of like family bond situation. I'm excited through that. The scars are also very fresh. I like that kind of um, touch because you're pretty young, so there's not much wear and tear on your face, but there's enough wear and tear for it to look like you sort of got it in a practice or when you were training. I do like that. That's very nice. Um, there's sort of a problem with you being asleep for so long. Shouldn't your scars be a little bit less fresh looking? But it's all based on what you like. So. That's basically my only concerns, which is lack of hair options for both male and female. There's no complexion wheel. So that was my take on the um, character creation, and I'm, I'm very excited for this game. 
I'm gonna link down the countdown till Mass Effect Andromeda that I've been using, which shows that it is now, since this recording, five days and eight hours. So ready. The hype is so real. Um, thanks again for listening, as always, to our podcast, and please subscribe if you'd like to be a um, follower and not a non-existing follower. Thank you so much, and have a good evening.